Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the shop. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a voltage sensor and interface it with the microcontroller Arduino and measure any voltage ranging from 0 volts to 25 volts and read that number onto a serial monitor or use it potentially on an LCD screen or OLED screen. So this voltage sensor, this voltage sensor reads anything from 0 to 25 volts. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description so you can purchase one or pick one up and use it for your projects. All right, so just giving you a closer up view of the sensor here. So on this side is where the input voltage is gonna be coming from. So you have these two screw terminals where you can screw in two different wires. So one is gonna be your incoming positive wire and then the other is your ground wire that it, of the voltage that you wanna measure. And then there's three pins on this side. Um, one goes to your ground on the Arduino, one goes to a analog input on the Arduino and then this middle pin is not used. So to get this set up, I'll screw in a couple wires at the back. So I'll screw in a black wire for the ground terminal. And I'll screw in this orange wire for the VCC terminal. Then I'll use these two female end DuPont connectors to hook on the headers, one to the negative pin, and then the other one to the, is labeled S pin on this. That'll be your outcoming analog voltage signal. So I'll take the outcoming from the negative terminal on the voltage sensor, I'll hook that up to my ground pin on the Arduino, and, I'll, and then I'll take my, my S out, outcoming voltage signal and plug that into analog pin zero on the Arduino. All right, so once this is set up, now we can measure any incoming voltage using these two pins. So just supply your Arduino with five volts. In this case, I'm using the cable that connects to my computer. So I'll flip over to the laptop here, show you the code, and then we'll measure some voltage. So starting with this, constant integers. So defining my constant integers first. The voltage input pin. So in this case, I'm gonna be using A0. Constant integer baud rate. So baud rate, I'm setting my baud rate to 9,600 bits per second for the serial monitor. Sensor read delay. Um, between reading values, I want to have 250 milliseconds every time this loop goes through. So I'll delay it at this point down here, 250 milliseconds between reading values. Max analog value. I'll explain this in a second, but I'm using 1010. Now, because I don't have a benchtop power supply right now, I'm putting down 1010 as a best guess because uh, the equation down here. I'm using that value as the maximum integer value that's being output by the analog pin. So this, in theory, should be 1,023 because that's the maximum value that is output by the analog pins on the Arduino. But the equation to make sense with this right now, the uh, 1,010 makes the most sense, but I can't read that value as of right now because I don't have a benchtop power supply to output the maximum voltage possible on the sensor. Sensor max voltage. So according to the manufacturer, this sensor reads 25 volts. So that number can be changed there. Float, analog voltage. So for float, I want to read decimal places on my outcoming value of the voltage. And I'm naming it analog voltage equals zero. So that can store my number for the incoming analog voltage. Moving down to setup, I'll begin my reading my baud rate on the, the serial monitor at the given baud rate above and then going into my loop routine. Analog voltage, so I'm going to be reading analog read from the from A0 pin, and then I'm going to take that and use it with this conversion equation to take that analog value and then convert it to a voltage. I'll explain on the notepad in a second, but this is your incoming analog voltage, whatever that value is, divided by the maximum analog volt value, so maximum analog value, that's 1010 up here. And then I'm gonna be multiplying that that whole equation by sensor max voltage, which, which is 25. And then that'll output a value that's in voltage between zero and 25. And then I'm gonna print that, <clears throat> that value to the serial monitor, and then put a label right after it that's volts, and then do my delay. 
So before I run you through the voltage conversion equation, I'm just going to take this out and show you on the serial monitor what the analog voltage incoming is and then explain uh, why my conversion equation makes sense. So I'm just going to upload this and then I'll pull open the serial monitor. So right now I don't have the voltage sensor hooked up to the Arduino but right now I'm going to plug in into the Arduino the ground pin and then the 5 volts from the sensor. So this value down here, 202, this is what the analog incoming voltage value, it's not voltage, but it's the analog number that's being read on the analog pin. So this is that number that's between 0 and 1023. So at 202 volts, I should be getting a reading. If I put my, my small multimeter under those pins, I should be getting a reading of about 5 volts. So this is prior to the conversion equation being done. All right. I just want to show you real quick with my multimeter. So I've got the sensor hooked up and plugged into the 5 volt and ground pins as explained earlier. I'm just going to take my multimeter and read between the 5 volt pin and the ground pin on the Arduino. And if you can see that on the multimeter, it's 5.05 volts. So at 5.05 volts, the analog value going into the serial monitor on the computer is uh, at a value of around 201, 202. So what I can do is if I had a benchtop power supply, I could increase the voltage to this sensor, get a reading of that analog value on the computer, see what the relationship is between the voltage and the incoming analog value, see if it's linear, and then if it's linear, uh, I can use that as a conversion equation, a linear, I can use a linear conversion equation to convert that analog value into a readable voltage value. Okay, so just going to explain this conversion equation for you real quick on the notepad. I got to get a little bit better of a setup here. I got a better camera holder coming and then maybe I'll get a whiteboard or something so it's easier to read. So the voltage sensor. So like I said, the linear if it's a linear relationship, I can use a linear conversion equation to convert the voltage. Um, what I did was I tested, since I have a voltage, um, what is it called, a voltage regulator, and I used a battery off of my my drill uh, that's read at about 20, 20 volts. I could do, I could read onto the analog pins what certain voltages were. So I did at zero volts, I have zero incoming analog onto the serial monitor. And then at five volts, I had a value of 202. 10 volts was a value of 402. And then at 15 volts was the max I could go with my battery that I had. I had a value incoming to the serial monitor of 605. So if you look at this relationship and if you graph this in Excel or something, this is actually a linear relationship between the voltage and the analog value. So I know that this is linear and I don't need to have a special equation to get a more accurate reading of the conversion between the analog value and the voltage value. So if I come down here, this is the conversion equation to go from that analog value over to volts. So it's the analog voltage divided by, in this case, since I don't know what the maximum uh, analog value is at 25 volts because I don't have a 25, I don't have a power a benchtop power supply to see what that number is at 25 volts exactly. And then I could use that and put that number there. This is just my best guess to convert to voltage and then multiply that by the maximum voltage of the sensor and then that'll output a number that's accurate from the analog value into a readable voltage value. So it's worth noting here real quick, you could use the map function as well in the Arduino IDE on the computer, but the map function only outputs whole integers and you can you can kind of make it work by having bigger numbers and then dividing it, but the more proper way to do this, in my opinion, is to not use the map function because it only outputs whole integers and just use a conversion equation instead. And then you can float that value. And then that way you can read the whatever value value that you want into decimal places. I have my conversion equation back up and running here and onto the Arduino. And then I can come over here to my serial monitor and see what I'm being output. So after confirming my 5.05 volts, I think it was, that I was reading with a multimeter, this is what I'm reading now with the conversion equation 
um, after the code was input with that, that conversion equation. So this is what my value is being output onto the serial monitor. So now you could potentially take this value and display it onto an LCD screen or an OLED screen or whatever you wanted to do with that value. So now I'll show you real quick just using my uh, it's roughly 18 to 20 volt battery for my drill and see if it gives me a different value on here. Okay, so shift in over to the battery here. So as you can see, this is an 18 volt lithium, lithium ion battery for my Bosch drill. Now I'm gonna use this sensor and see if it works to give me some reading on this. So actually I'll use my multimeter first to see what the actual true value is of the voltage coming out of this. So, just so you can see that, plug this into that and that. Come on. So, looks like I'm getting a value coming out of the battery of 20.6 volts. Let's see what see what my voltage sensor gives me in the serial monitor. So, taking that out, and then I'm taking my pins from my voltage sensor, my negative going to my negative on the battery, and then my positive going to the positive on the battery. All right, so we'll flip back over to the computer and I'll show you what I'm getting as a reading. A reading of about 20.6 20 volts on the multimeter. So over here now on the serial monitor, I'm getting a reading of about 20.7 volts. So my equation could be a little bit more accurate, but like I said, I don't have that benchtop power supply to confirm that top value. So my equation might be a little bit off, but Honestly, at this point, for the purposes of what I want to use the sensor for, it's pretty accurate because I want to use my voltage sensor into that uh, car project that I was talking about to measure the outcoming voltage of my car battery. So if I can get a decimal reading into, let's say, within one volt or a 0.1 of a volt, I would be pretty happy. So this is relatively accurate for my purposes and it outputs a voltage value that's uh, accurate in terms of what this equation what this equation is reading right now so all right so that pretty much wraps up what i wanted to show you with this voltage sensor for this video stay tuned for more videos in the future i have some more projects on the way if you have any questions about this uh, this video and how to use this sensor more or if you want some clarification feel free to comment in the description box below and rate the video like the video comment subscribe thanks for watching cheers